Two games that have taken both the eyes and hearts of so many people in virtual reality have been Zenith, The Last City, and A Township Tale. Having played quite a bit of Zenith at this point, and having over 500 hours in A Township Tale, today I'm going to go over what I feel are key differences in each. This is both for those who are just generally interested, wanting one or the other, or maybe you want both, but you only have one so far, and want to make sure that it's worth it to get the other. So let's get some clarity on what exactly makes these titles so unique and successful. Firstly, to touch on this really quick, both of these games here are the first respected RPG style games in virtual reality. And no, I'm not really counting Orbis. A Township Tale has been in development by Alta VR for some years now and has just recently came to the Quest in the past year with an insanely successful launch and Zenith The Last City just launched this year having been in development for quite some time by Ramen VR it launched with overwhelming support with just about every VR player trying to get in a server on launch day. Now to jump into what makes these so different at the same time. The multiplayer situation is one of the most noticeable differences between the two on both social and performance side of things. In a township tale, being that the two builds, Quest and PC, are separate, there are differences even within its own player base, where Quest servers can have up to 8 players, and PC has an unknown cap where I've seen around 30 or so people in a high traffic server before, but this comes with some serious performance costs. It's basically unplayable at that level. In Zenith, it's an obvious difference being that the game is entirely crossplay and houses 115 players at any given time in any server. This is due to their spatial OS that lets them run mobs, players, and all that other stuff independently in the background on a cloud. I've personally dreamt of a future in a township tale where there would be a massive player base with multiple towns and so on, but again, that's just a dream of mine from the good old RuneScape days, because as much as I really enjoy Zenith, a township tale just has so much more mechanics that I do prefer, so it's frustrating at times that I can't have the best of both worlds. Zenith allows you to basically farm for good gear or upgrade and craft in a more old school flat screen style with more clicking involved and just selecting what you want to build more or less. A Township Tale gets you 100% involved in the entire process with your own hands from start to finish. Literally hammering, chiseling, smelting, forging, and all of that epic stuff. If you're crafting an axe, there's an insane amount of ways you can go about mounting that axe in a township, or just customizing builds in general is pretty amazing. Again though, the biggest difference here is the engagement. Being in the third dimension in games now, I personally want to stay as far away from the click this and click that as I can, and Township ultimately has my heart for almost all aspects of crafting. It's just too pleasing to my eyes when I craft something. Almost, and I mean almost, as pleasing to the eyes as these VR lens prescription inserts from VR Wave, the official sponsor of today's video. I always feel blessed when a good company sends a sponsorship request, but this one is super special. With a seriously proven track record and countless reviews, VR Wave is the face of prescription lenses for virtual reality. Just go to vr-wave.store, link down below, and select your headset, choose your prescription, and get ready to see clearly. Another form of crafting, one that each of the games does very well, is cooking. I've always loved the manual methods of cooking in a township where you had to fill up the pot with the water, place it on the fire, or even just simply making some chicken next to an open fire. In Zenith, it is slightly more rinse and repeat, but still very engaging with the whole pan flipping mechanic and all that. You just kind of mix the ingredients though and nothing really looks too distinct. Overall though, the major differences here in cooking are just going to be the way you do it physically. Where in a township, as usual, it is just a tad more physically engaging. As far as quests go, 
I don't think there's any contest to say that Zenith has this category in the bag. With an entire main storyline, tons of side quests, events, and lore, Zenith came out swinging in this category, and for those who appreciate that aspect, it's a sure bet. A Township Tale has worked on things like their version of dungeons, called Trials, that let your server have access to higher tier forgery. Now, with that being said, the hardest challenge I've ever faced in VR to this day is within a township. And no, it's not a quest, but it's a requirement for all who wish to yield the power of climbing in the game. You see, in Zenith, you spawn with the ability to climb anything around the map, with stamina taken into account, of course. In a township tale, you don't get such privileges, you silly peasant. You have to work for the right to climb, anything you want, and then your carry weight is what affects your stamina. This ability comes from the treacherous, the insane climbing tower. For the first timers, of course, yeah, it's gonna eat your lunch. So if you're down for challenges, with some amazing physics and some amazing climbing, this is your best bet. Leveling in each game is done quite a bit differently, definitely more of a WoW versus RuneScape in this regard. Uh, in Zenith, you have a level for your character, which is based on a class mixed with a subclass. So for instance, you could have a mage support that's a level 20 without having individual ability levels. In a township, each skill has its own level, so your attack, archery, mining, smithing, all that good stuff are going to have their levels independently, which you can then use to learn new high-level attacks or skills to harvest materials and things like that. As far as monsters go, Zenith has a pretty good variety throughout the multiple areas since it is quite a bit larger. I won't go naming every single one, but just some simple viewing of the game shows its variety in comparison, where the enemies are really focused on the one world setting in a township, although there are some pretty cool varieties within the forest and more dangerous areas. Things like the poisonous plants that explode, massive hogs, or just the option to hunt things like deer and more to craft materials with later on or use the meat for potions or food is always nice and something I personally wish Zenith had a part of. Now probably the absolute biggest difference just from loading into them is going to have to be the size of the map, something that can't be ignored. With respect to all that Township Tale has built on PC, especially the forest and the pathway to the climbing tower, with it obviously being meant for a smaller server. Loading into Zenith is definitely overwhelming when you are used to such limited VR games up until this point. The map is somewhere around 50 square kilometers if I remember right, that's not really taken into account verticality. A Township Tale has a perfect layout for what it is and just the right amount of space to explore and venture off with the group and have plenty of fun, with no limits or suggestions where you should go. Zenith is definitely something you have to level up to go exploring for, as the highest level zones are something you really can't mess with at all in the early game, so keep that in mind before you go getting wrecked. And before I forget, I think this is really important for those noobs to VR to let you know that the biggest thing for some of you to consider is how you adapt and learn, because to put it simply, a township tale does not hold your hand in basically anything. The tutorial pretty much sucks at prepping you for what you need to know, not that it's not good, there's just so much in the game. And the game's extremely dependent on the community for learning and growing. With Zenith, they have pretty much everything laid out where you can just start questing and follow along with the prompts. Some people like to figure things out themselves, and there are little quality of life things in a township tale that I still figure out to this day. But for me, I kind of like it that way so I can see both aspects to this and I think it's an important factor on whether or not someone wants to get into a game because some people would rather just get on and have clear direction. But all in all, I hope this video helps someone out and at minimum, whoever you are, that you enjoyed this upload. I always love making a new video, so the support so far has just been overwhelming. Thanks for the 10,000 subscribers, become one if you haven't already, and we'll see you next time. Bye bye!